Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory today. There is also a new podcast out. We have a new episode of the Citadel Cafe in the Hopper for editing, but also a new episode of the Spawn Chunks uh, that was published yesterday. We talked about the new difficulty settings in Minecraft and as well as the new, uh, not snapshots, but pre-releases for 1.21.2. Uh, that should be coming out probably in the next couple of weeks. So a lot to listen to out there. All of it is linked at joelduggan.com. Uh, thanks ever so much for the hype train to kick off the stream. Holy smokes, we've got Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Dan Grice resubbing 43 months in a row. Thanks so much, Dan. Snuggly Boo Bear used 100 bits and then another 100 bits. Thanks so much. And Sweet Sandy just used 200 bits. Uh, Snuggly Boo Bear saying that I won't be around for a few weeks due to work. So more cheers while I can. Well, thanks very much. I really appreciate that, Snuggly. Very kind of you. Uh, and you loved the Impin Skiz podcast as well. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I really appreciate that. That was a good, that was a good episode. Uh, that's available. Uh, you can do, uh, I think it's bang imp and skiz in chat. There should be a link circulating directly to that video. Uh, and, uh, that last time I checked that episode of imp and skiz on YouTube had 34,000 views. That's wild. Uh, for, for comparison, the average downloads, so not views on YouTube, but the average downloads for the Spun Chunks podcast is around 6,000 per episode. And so to have one episode of Imp and Skiz go to 34K is, is pretty cool. And I don't know what their download numbers are for podcasting. I, I should ask them, actually. Um, very, very cool. You know, I really appreciate the hype train. I really appreciate all the support. And I'm glad people are liking the interviews. Let's jump in. So we were working on train blueprints last time. And uh, I have something I want to try. I did not realize you could do. And I'm just going to try it on a single sign here. Am I using... I think I might be still using Lumen. No, it's off. Okay, why do I have such a crappy frame rate? That's not great. Hold on. Do I have mouse software running? No. Weird. Um, I wanted to check a sign and just kind of see somewhere where it's darker. Just curious about this. Put a sign right here. So we've done this before where you can change the sign to make it a light get rid of the text and then you change the black background and we've got a blue light uh, preset you change it to three and it's a blue light but one thing you can do apparently is in the color change this to be 500 And it makes it a lot brighter, and it actually gives it like a glow. And if I do that again, just to compare them. And then change this back to normal, whatever that was. So there's the difference. I mean, this is on a white wall, but now if I, I wonder if I change the lumen, if that's gonna be cool. This is where it'll probably make a big difference. I don't know. I think it just changed the color. It doesn't look all that different. I thought this was going to be really cool for my train energy supports. I saw this on a YouTube video the other day. I'm 
wonder if the color matters. really narrows your colors. You just got your primaries, RGBs. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it goes to kind of a turquoisey teal with the 500, I agree. So, uh, we need to take a look and see what we need to do for um, some additional parts. We need to make circuit boards, AI limiters, and computers. Most of that is going to involve um, quick wire and copper. It's probably going to make the most sense to bring the copper to the quick wire. And I do kind of like the idea of having this up here. So the question, I guess, is how are we going to do the train stuff? And I think I had some blueprints. <clears throat> These just don't seem to want to save into the right spot. Five degree right continued and five degree right bend. So we need to make the four meter version of that. Because I think that's what was working well with our um, train support. Why do I have all that cable? Weird. Um, go with foundations. So we have a five degree right continued and a five degree right bend with four meters. Uh, we need to do left. So the same idea. Something I don't know about this particular technique is why um, people start off with a straight one. Maybe they have to. In order to get the first bend, maybe. Gonna be left. We're just gonna add it here for now. I can, it's better to organize them later, it seems. And left, I was using a green color, but I don't remember. 
it was just 50. And then we just get rid of the first one and the last two. And that will give us a continued bend and that save. And then we'll just change the color. Now in our blueprints, five degree right, five degree right bend. And those are the small ones, but these are the four meters. And this is, those are with four meter foundations. So I have to load those. go with that one oh right we had to do doubles I forgot about that right continued And this is also double. sure I have that right. Uh, clear blueprint designer. So now I can load the left and this is the side that marks up nicely. So we have to add one here and here and save that as 2x. Save this as two X. Now I don't know if I can change the names in the blueprint menu. I hope I can. Blueprints. They really need to improve the UI here. But hopefully the left green and right red will help us out a little bit. 
All right. Um, I can apply the changes. And then now, if I have one of these selected, well, what I could do is I could make a hotbar. What's going to be our train hotbar? Probably four. So now under blueprints, I can go... Let's go... Probably want to make some straight ones too. Four by four. So I should make a straight one with just these guys. And this is just going to be five. Four meter. And I think I had chosen like a gray color for straights. That makes sense to me. So, can now move this around. So if straights, and I'm going to go for rights. So, oh, I should do 2x, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? I always forget about doing two, two lanes. And this is a uh, straight two by five, four meter. Jay, Chris, good to see you. Bali, welcome in. Hope everyone's having a good day. Loki, Loki, good to see you. So we'll again edit this and put it in trains. So I've got straight 1x5, straight 2x5. I now need a 4 meter right bend. A... And that's the 2x. So this is the 5 degree. That's the 5 degree right continued. Where's the 5 degree right with just the 1? Maybe I didn't make one. There's 2 continued. And then... We've got, I might move these into a separate subcategory. It might be better to have one meter pathing. So we'll move all these guys down here. 
I'm just thinking about the radio menu because they separate these out in the radio menu. So we've got uh, five degree bend. And then continued, five degree continued. So I'm missing something. Uh, what I can do though is start to add these to the hotbar. So I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, that might be overkill. We'll mess with this as it as it comes. But essentially, like with one, if I hold down E, we can go and choose the ones we want. So straight one by five. That is exactly what you expect. Don't know why it won't click onto this. That's annoying. Probably because it's a two meter foundation. Yeah. Will this work? Yeah, okay, so it snaps onto this, no problem. Right, so there's one by five, and then we just kind of go two. That's the right continued one. That does not look like yeah, I've got the I've got them in the wrong order. Got them saved incorrectly too. That why is that crooked? Doesn't make any sense. need to test this up in the air where it's going to make more sense. So we've got some straights happening here and then that's our first turn. And this is where I think I wanted it to go straight down that way. From here, we should be able to go straight down this way. And with the blueprints, there we go. And if I wanted to add a train thing on top of that, then I just have to add this to like number seven, maybe. And that's the hover support that we were trying to make before. And it should snap right to there. Perfect. A little touchy, but that lines up with what we would want. Okay. So then the other thing is, how do my other blueprints line up? So if I choose three, that is the wrong thing. So I need to go into the blueprint menu. I would prefer a straight yeah, like that's not not exactly. I mean, it's lined up from the center wise. That's what I want, but I want the other one. And I keep on hitting the wrong menu keys. Blueprints. Yeah, we want uh, edit. So I feel like I need to maybe name these a little bit different. Um, certainly need to change the color on this one. Just to differentiate between the right bend and the right bend continued. And this is 2x. And that's just the regular one. So this is the continued one as well. We'd want to change this color. Someone in the chat should be happy it's pink. So if I wanted to continue, apply this, uh, and now when I just grab 
my menu, I should be able to go right bend. And this should snap directly here. It's not going to snap in the middle because I don't think I made the blueprint in the right spot. Right, I think... I think because the blueprint is off-center in the designer, that's why that's doing that. I don't know. Either way, that's right. And then if I want the two meter continued, that's also right. And then what I don't have... Five degree right bend, five degree right continued. Well, I guess that's bend and continued. That's a pretty easy thing to differentiate. And this is the, I don't have a five degree right bend on its own. I need to, I think maybe move that blueprint designer so I can take it with me as we go. No, Cosmic isn't in the channel. They're at work right now. So what was it that I needed? Five right bend. I need the right bend on a single. See if this makes a difference. I'm just going to make a new one. It's obviously not the right spot. Why is it all of a sudden going too far? I don't understand. Why is it? Why is it all of a sudden not lining up? I just did two of these. That's the middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What? What? Why is it not working? this to the wrong one? No. Already used.
Oh, because I didn't give these the right. Well, that's four meters. That's got the wrong icon. That's why I have it in the wrong spot. That's why. I already have one. So this should really be... I can't change the name in here? That's dumb. Why would you make us come here to rename stuff? I'm not cosmic, but I felt pink was mentioned, so I was summoned. Nice. Alright, so this should be a pretty straight shot. We are eventually going to remove all this uh, concrete and just have the floating train line. I don't think there's a need for any curves here. I think we should be good. I feel like it's pretty in between a lot of stuff. We're going to go over that node, but we're high enough that we're not really going to mess with too much. And you can see on the map, I'm basically heading towards my other marker. And I don't know whether I'm going to turn before the marker or what. I might actually go up this way. It's cool. You can sort of see our concrete slowly being replenished um, from our um, stores. So we've run out of concrete in my inventory, but we're pulling from the concrete there. Pretty cool. Hmm. Do... I don't know. Maybe we want to turn here and go like parallel to the to the waterfall. Like maybe we want to Instead of going across right here, maybe we want to go go across here and then make a turn. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. So this is where we would want to do, at some point, a right turn. So that's 2 by 4 right bend. Now, why is it not... Oh, there we go. So I need a left bend. That's a single. So I put that on the wrong hockey. Let's go with... All right, so if you're in blueprint mode, this the curved ones don't work. So blueprint mode, they snap weirdly. And you can't move them. You can nudge them. Or if you do regular mode, then you can kind of... Put them to where you want them to be. It's gonna curve here. My hmm. I wonder if I should maybe 
try to measure how far from that I want to be first before we make the curve. Although we're doing pretty well. So here I could grab uh, I want the left bend continued. This is this you've got a um, nudge. And it's the outside corner that should line up perfectly, and then the inside corner will overlap a little bit. And you can double check by seeing like they overlap by about a meter. And then same thing here. These guys overlap by about a meter. About the same. I think. It's hard to see. And then you just keep on adding these till you think you're in the right direction. It's really finicky. I really wish they would <clears throat> change the, um, like this is just really annoying how finicky it is. That to me looks like it's pointing pretty straight across here, right? You can always kind of go with your pointer on your on your um, guy on the map. So from here, we can probably just go back to straight. You're better off usually far away. These ones are better. Straight is better in blueprint mode because it snaps to the edge of the blueprint. You can hear the waterfall, it's pretty cool. I think that's a decent view. We can always change things and go higher later if we want. Realizing, of course, here that um, we are not going to be higher than the water. Out of concrete. That's fair. So here's a good idea of what the view coming in on the train will be. We'll be on this side. See the void. Do a roller coaster railway going down. Yeah, so I, I'm going to have to do something. We might have to... I don't know if we'll go up here. I may increase the height somewhere. Maybe down there. then we're back to straights. So what I'm thinking for the hover parts is that we can probably just put the hover parts wherever things start to go straight. Because these are actually things I'm going to delete, what I should probably do is change the colors. That would make it really easy. So like I can switch the blueprint mode and see, like obviously I'm still at a straight mode, then there's the bend. So here's where it would end and there's the first part of the bend. So this part here would be the first, the last straight section, right? Like these are going to be, those are going to be the last straight ones. So this is where the hover thing would be. And then the other hover thing would be down there a little bit. I need to figure out how long a train track is so I can start to um, figure out how many foundations in between train blocks. I want to say it's 12. I 
No chance the train could be down level with the waterfalls. That might be cool. Oh, you can do anything you want. Yeah, you can you can have um, you can take the trains down on uh, these um, these foundations here. Right. So you, like, you can go down. You can go up and down with them. Totally cool. I do need to center this though. I think this is also off center. I've got a full foundation here. And I don't think I have a full foundation there. No, I just have the one. And this is the middle here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Six and then this train station is twelve long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, and I've got one, two, three. There's four cars. Two, three, four. Uh, oh. when you're in the menu, you can't use your jetpack. FYI. I feel like four train cars is probably pretty good. We may have to adjust this. This may also be a temporary thing. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, but what needs to happen is that I need to move this down by a half foundation. need to dump all this cable. I think I was using cable to build something. Was it the motors maybe? High speed connector. You are missing quick wire. I have to go get some, I guess. Unless we need more or less. What was the other thing we needed? Automated wiring. Do I have enough of that? Don't know. Yeah, so circuit boards is maybe something I should make more of. What are you doing? You're doing automated wiring. Let's do circuit boards. Uh, it's copper sheet and plastic. Seventy-five and thirty-seven point five. Do I need to make another bin? I probably need to make another bin.
Beaten days since you've seen the stream. It'll all look so good. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're getting there. It's starting to feel a little bit more like a city, which is cool. So let's do transport uh, empty platform for now. We can always replace these later. Two, three, four, and then we'll just nudge this back. And that should now be on the halfway mark. And then this should be on the halfway mark, meaning that this is in the middle. Yes. Okay, cool. So I can build this platform out as much as I want. Uh, this is going to have to be, I think, replaced. Um, so I'm thinking the first real support So, I'd say right here. This is probably where we're going to put our first um, whatchamacallit hover, hover support. Uh, let's just pick a color for that. Let's go with like that, maybe that blue. Right, and then when the hover support goes down, that's in the middle. I think the, yeah, so those are in the middle of the foundation. So the new tracks would go from here as far as we can. I think it's 12. It's the middle of one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It is twelve. Okay. It's, technically it's twelve and a half, but I'll go with twelve. And so the idea there is that then here we'd put another hover pad and then we just keep on going. Although it might be worth to count the entire length here and figure out how to evenly distribute them. Um, maybe we don't need them that often. I think it probably would make a lot of sense though. So really all we need to do is just run this until it runs out. Having a little bit of deja vu from my other playthrough. Holding control will also keep your track straight so like I can I can look left and right and this track is going dead straight because I've got control held down. So I'm just realizing now that uh, on this, we should have, maybe we'll move some stuff around. Um, that one. And then this is two, three. I also need to get some more concrete too, I forgot. And I can put this on maybe two. 
So again, having all this stuff on your hotbar makes things a lot easier. So here is where it's not going to be another 12, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I think this is where the next thing is going to go. And it would make sense that from here, it would also bend. And then we would put another one when the bends stop. Right? So this is the next set of straight ones here. There's no... These ones are overlapping. Yeah, so right there, these two right here. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. But that should allow us to do the curve and have it look okay. I guess one way to try it would be to uh, I guess I have to delete those, don't I? How do I want to do this? I guess I can do that. So I can always zoop those back in at the right angle. And then if I choose my levitator track thing. And it's actually going to snap to that one. So I can just... Put that. I want it to be parallel to this. So this thing is actually going to do a little... Oh, that, that's right. It's wider. That works out. And it's doing the overlap thing on the first one. So when we choose yes... That puts that in there. Now I should be able to delete this and just go click. And that's going to be a dead straight track. And then if we do another track over here, I'm not going to put the hover thing in right now. This is just for a test. This is also going to be another straight track, but we would want it to be in starting in the middle. For some reason, it's not letting me... Control is not working right now. I don't know why. Maybe because it didn't have, didn't have anything else attached to it in the back. So now we have a straight track. And a straight track over there. So we can delete this one. Which is obviously shooting off in the wrong direction, right? Like, it's, it's going off the curve. So we can delete this. I don't think we can just connect the two. I think I have to go every every other curve. I don't think that's going to keep with... No, it's not even, right? So here is where we would go, I think, to the middle of every second one. So we would go to here. This is where a hover pack comes in really handy. One, and then the middle of this one. And then the middle of this one. And even though they're segments, because they're snapping to the foundations, they're going to be in a nice curve. And then, of course, it's not going to let us finish it. That's annoying. It says yes, and then it says no. It's not too short. I know it's not too short because you can build them that long. So how do you fix that? Do you just finesse it? I 
It looks about right. It's real close, right? Like it's only off, but if it's off, it's not off by much. And this would be as long as it needs to be. So this needs to get a paint indicator. So yeah, the control thing, I think it needs to have um, a rail attached to the back. That was close. Yeah. It's kind of cool. The hover pack, the hover support kind of goes right in the middle of the waterfall there. Feeling like about here is where we might want to start to make the curve. Maybe one more. It's really hard to tell how far away we are from that. I think maybe I should have backed up a little bit. I guess one thing we could do is figure out how to do like a curve on a pivot from over there. Stream time has passed one hour. Guess you wait for nightfall for the break? Yeah, we're going to take a break right now, actually. I need to go get more concrete anyway. I'm out. What I should do is double the amount of concrete going up into the into the um, dimensional depot. Watching your VODs uh, for help and realize I didn't need one biofuel burner per machine. No, yeah, you just, um, you can network them. The, the power in the game doesn't work like power does in real life. Uh, zero, I need more coffee too, yeah. Coffee and concrete. The two constants in life. I feel like we are racing the shadow of the moon. <laughs> like something behind us. I'm not sure what's going on. That was weird. It was like it was like the graphical update for nighttime. No concrete in the coffee, no, that would be bad. I'm going to grab the concrete before I go on the break, though, otherwise I will forget. We should have some right here. Do not have some right there. Uh, that's the one sending it up to the depot, so we'll go to the one over here. Speaking of concrete, I need to finish this up too. Cool. Folks, I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to refresh the coffee, grab a stretch. You can grab a friend and let them know that we're streaming. We are always trying to grow the channel. I'll be back in about five or seven minutes. And you all get to hang out and check out the lasers. Be right back.
Snuggly Boo Bear, I think I missed the 100 bits that you dropped about 40 minutes ago. I am very sorry. I was probably distracted doing something in game. Uh, but thank you very much. Uh, a couple things. I need to tweak the designer. I want to see if I can make make those changes to that um, to the light underneath the Actually, let's do it this way. I want to see if I can increase the strength of those lights under the hover pack thing. I also want to make a version of this with no uh, signs on it. All right, so if I take this and I change this and I change this to Maybe like a 10. It's still blue. Maybe we have to go more in this range, or does it matter? Kind of snaps at some point. I mean, it has a better glow to it. I will, I will definitely say that it seems to like have more of a of a camera flare to it than that. I think we just have to find the right color to do it on. It's almost like it has to warm up. It's weird. Now it's just not working. It's subtle, but I think I prefer the, the stronger, stronger light. Yep, yeah, I guess we'll just go with the, the color we had before. So I'll copy that. Yeah, it still feels like it's the same color. It's just brighter. It's a pain that you can't access the lights when they're behind stuff. 
So that is that. I want to save that as it is. Confirm. And then I want a rail support. Whoa, autosave jetpack fluke. I want one of these without the, um, so no, no blocks. Actually, let's change that to a different color. And then I'll just remove the blocks. I'm wondering if it's gonna be better to place the blocks first and then just place this underneath it and delete the straight tracks. That's my, that might be the easiest thing to do. So I'll save that again. Clear the designer. And then we'll do our blueprint organization outside of the designer. changes and maybe we'll change that color even farther no support Rail support, okay. Got my concrete, I don't need, I don't know why I keep on getting so much stuff in my inventory. Don't need all of these, um, oh, you know what it was? I cleared out one of the, one of the machines over there. Yeah, there's definitely more shine to it, I agree. So I feel like we could probably get away with just having one of those here. Uh, and then this one, we'd have to do the same sort of thing here. So I need, I'm not sure why, but I feel like one of the tricks that I've learned is to always have like a little bit of a like a small block just outside of your train stations so rather than connecting directly to the train station really is finicky so i find that you want to go out at least to like there you know where's the first turn i would say probably here. That's the first turn. So I need to come to here. So go to one, two. We just have to be careful how many we how many turning segments we make because this should work because this is going to be two so that should be fine so what I, what i was thinking was that here it might be worth putting the signals on now right so block signal would be 
we'll say eight. And I should be able to do like a radial. Oh wow, it gives you all that. That's cool. Block signal, that's what that is. So it's created this one long block down that way, right? And so what we'd want to do is create another block signal here at the front of the train station. What this does is separate your track. And I don't find that this is overly useful. I feel like usually you want something here, right? So what that'll do eventually when we have the track closed is that um, this section here from here to the end when we have another block there that will be a block so only one train can occupy that block at a time and then same with this section here only one block one train can occupy that block at a time basically means that a train can't leave this station until the one in front of it is a little bit farther down the line uh went out hiking near ottawa on thanksgiving with my partner says loki i don't loki did i know you were canadian Go to a big lookout 10k. I was able to pop the question overlooking the fall colors. Really happy and wishing all good vibes today. We, what? Hold on. Back up the phone. Back, hold on. Also, back up the phone is not a saying. Uh, Loki, did you propose this weekend? Went out hiking near Ottawa on Thanksgiving with my partner. Got to the big lookout 10k. So 10,000 feet up. And was able to pop the question overlooking the fall colors. Really happy and wishing y'all good vibes. Loki, congratulations. That's amazing. You romantic, mischievous son of a gun. Well played. Well played. Well, congrats to you and your partner. That's amazing. Very, very cool. 10 kilometer hike, not 10 K up. I was like, okay, that's where I was confused. Like, where did you go in Ottawa that you were 10,000 feet above sea level? <laughs> Cause that's not a thing. <laughs> Ottawa is like, Ottawa is at like sea level, St. Lawrence river sea level. It was a 10 K hike. Okay. Gotcha. Very cool. Well, congratulations. And thanks for everybody in chat showing some love for, for Loki. That's awesome. Eagle's Nest in Kalabugi is where it was. Very cool. So I don't know if I have to put blocks, um, but I feel like it's probably good practice to do this. So you'll see very clearly now they've given us another color. So then this is a new block. Oh, these cost computers. This is going to be tricky. There's a new block. And there's a new block. So you can see now all the different blocks. So only one train can occupy a block at a time. I don't think I need to do it on these ones that are so close together, so I'll do another one here. So where are we going to start this curve? I'm just curious if I start it here, what it's going to look like. I think this might curve too soon, but we'll see. It's nothing to delete this stuff, so this is very easy to do. So we'll grab right bend and I have to change my snap mode. And then I need a right bend continued. I 
and it's the outside corner. Yeah, that's going to go too soon, but we might be able to use this information. So if I just keep on doing this. So that didn't work at all. Now, why did that not line up at all when the other ones did? Well, that's about right. I just don't want to be... I want to be pointing just a little bit more due north. And so I want to be farther that way, I think. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on going with the curve. Annoying as this is. This game really should come with like a flash warning. Oh my gosh. So, getting there. Maybe one more. Uh... points us in that direction. That to me looks about right, uh, but I don't think I want to go down. I don't know. Do we like that? Do we think that that's, that's a good curve or should we go outside of this rock? Between the rocks? Well, I guess first I should figure out how close this is going to actually be. So we'd still have to kind of go a little bit this way. So I think that might be better to go outside the rock. So I think all I need to do is just figure out how far that way I need to be. And then extend that by the number of um, foundations difference. Yeah, outside the rock is definitely going to give you a better path north, right? Like, we're looking at... I'm trying to think about, like, going straight that way. That looks about right. Maybe just a little bit more. We're going to be higher, probably. Yeah, let's go with here. And so, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? Wow. We'll see if this works. So there's the first... That's the blueprint there. So this is going to be five. Ten. And this is going to be 15. And then we'll remove the last two or the last four. Because then we add the bend. And I 
do this right? Nope. It's still gonna be too close. I need to go another. Deleting the two is, I think, a problem. One, two, three. So put those back. I wonder if I could just do it with these. It's still 10 degrees with every two foundations. I'm not sure why it rotates it. The game does that with a lot of stuff. So now it's not working. What? Why is that not? Man, the difference between blueprint mode and how things snap is ridiculous. This is still not going to do the right thing, I don't think. Now we're going to be short. I might be able to just... No. Well, I'm going to find out how, how short we are going to be. That's what I'm going to do. My guess is three foundations. If it's gonna just... Why is it all of a sudden not working? The inconsistency is a real pain. That is not going to line up at all in an even way that I thought it was going to. Or rather it is. It's just that it's going to be beyond this point. I mean, that's really close to parallel, I think. Would I be okay with here instead of there? The difference of not much. Honestly, you know what? This is probably okay. So then we can probably place... of these here. Now I don't know where this is on the world grid. It's definitely off. I'm 
I'm not terribly worried about that for train tracks, though. Fine. The important thing is that we're on the same uh, level. And now we're only going up by a controlled either four or two meters. That'll make things a lot easier down the line. Puppy break. Thanks very much for the heads up, Sandy. And uh, I hope things are going well with the puppy. sure what's faster doing the blueprint thing or, or just like straight up zooping this out straight I feel like that's faster it's certainly easier to click I think that's one of the problems with blueprints is that they currently are now is this gonna look a little bit funny with hover packs like really close to the water I guess the cool part was that we might see reflections on the water, because that could be kind of fun. And we won't have to worry about um, the power towers, because the train tracks are going to bring power. So we'll be able to cut those away, which is good. Grid the planet. Yeah, I like... I like trying to stay on the grid if I can. No, I think this actually might have worked out better. This is the only thing about the trains that's a little on the tedious side is the... the amount of infrastructure you have to lay down first can't get over the anxiety of seeing you walk on the stuff that's at like as it's building yeah i'm less worried about it here i certainly was not fun doing it um over the waterfall because if you fall down there then you lose all your stuff in your inventory it's like falling in the void in minecraft some point we're going to want the train to go over towards um i guess we're at, we don't know where we're making the plastic so this is going to be a temporary thing but it could be kind of fun to have the train go off over there and go up higher and we know we are off the grid here but we know that that is on the grid We do know that vertically we're on the right grid. It's just that we know that our X and Z axis is off. I've got a funny feeling we're gonna run into this, this bridge thing here too. Whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah, train's not gonna fit underneath there. 
so we may have to have a little little diversion here. It could be kind of cool. Um, I want to think that uh, this is going to be a good area to try and bring the train to. So what I should try to do from here is get our height correct. You can see that we're off grid here, but this won't matter because I can line things up here. So we should be within that should be an even meter. So if I put another one meter on top of that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're, we're, we're on the grid vertically. I just need to adjust this. Now, can this fit a bin? If it can, when we're good and good for now. Yes. Okay. So all that's going to happen here is that at about this point, we're going to switch over to this grid. And this is going to be where we're going to send some stuff from here. And so this looks like kind of a straight line. We don't want to do quite that. I don't know how much room to give this here. Uh, let's just do, let's go back over here and see where we need to get to. So this a little bit too harsh. I guess we could go under. That might be the easiest thing to do. Essentially, uh, I want to get to a point where probably about here. We can always redo this, uh, but somewhere around here, I want to be going underneath, I think. And I don't remember how much train, how much room a train needs, so we may have to go over. Keep in mind that this is only going to be tracks. So if we have tracks here, I have tracks here. Is that enough room for a locomotive? Oh, only just. Yeah, it's a little, little snug, so I'd want to go down another level, I think, if we're going to go underneath, um, which is fine, because that's still above the water level. this is the kind of like future thinking you have to do with trains yeah I feel like that's good uh, so to get to that angle roughly and that's a little bit too too straight I'd probably want to actually pull this down so we were one two three below this
That's about right. So essentially I want to line the train up with the grid again. It doesn't have to be this line exactly, because I actually don't know where the train station is going to come in. But we can kind of base where the train goes underneath on what is going to look good on the other side. Is the reason for four meter platforms other than two? Yeah, walls are four meters. All the useful walls are four meters. So all of these are four meters. Uh, most of these are four or eight meters. Windows are four meters. So like there's a lot of stuff that's four meters. So you're usually better off going in four meter increments. You can always tweak it later. But I find for the broad infrastructure strokes, you want to do four meters. Okay, so this is not quite, I don't know what that angle is. That's probably 10 maybe. Actually, that makes sense. Because we're always turning in, in five degree turns. So this is just a two degree turn off. That's awesome. That'll be quite easy actually. Very good, very good. So, what we need to do now is get this back here. Let's just go figure out... I feel like this space here is going to be more useful. I'm probably going to want to be over, over here at some point. Going to need at least three. So then I gotta get from here over to there and down. Or I guess I could just go down right next to it. That's fine too. Just think the curve would look better going that way. One, two, three. Hmm. Just trying to think about what might look better coming along here. Because you can veer off easily in one um, one foundation increments like you can just take this and just go in this direction if I wanted to have another track here I think it's only a couple of foundations we'd need Too sharp. So it does look like it needs three. So you can kind of veer off and then immediately after this you could start to head back down and I'm just trying to decide if that's gonna look better or if we should go um, farther outside uh, oh wow just realized who you're we watching <laughs> I really enjoyed you and pixel riffs on the impetus podcast that's great <laughs> welcome in uh, made me add the sponge chunks to my podcast list. Fantastic. 
Glad to hear that you're listening. Looking forward to my first listen on your next commute. Also adding a follow here to keep up with Satisfactory Gaming. Love the game as much as Minecraft. Awesome. Well, welcome in, um, Rimmer SDK. Or Rhymer, I guess. There's only one M. Thank you very much. Uh, do you uh, Does your five degree turn take into account your fine adjustment when placing? Yeah, because the fine adjustment is, um, there's no rotation to it. The fine adjustment is just this. Up, like left, right, up, down, for, or forward, back, left, right, right? And so if I rotate this, so like if I grab this and I rotate it, right? This is always going to be, well, so for example, this is, um, every click is a five degree. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, right? And then I can still lock this and nudge it and it's not going to change. It's, it's still 45 degrees. It does nudge in a weird way sometimes, but it's still at 45 degrees. Uh, but uh, Rhymer SDK, thank you ever so much again for the kind words and welcome in. Um, and hi to anybody else that's watching with you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So do we want this to go down like right here? Or do we want it to swing wide and go down over there? I kind of wonder if I can get it to go down from here all the way down to there in one swoop. No, it's too steep, right? Weird how that's... Right. So this would need, I think, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably. Usually to make uh, a 90 degree turn in this game, you need... Um, Three foundations. All right, so there's our options. Let's get rid of this. So I'm thinking uh, the train that's going to go to the rubber and the plastic is either going to veer off here quickly and then duck and go underneath or you can see the other one where it's going to kind of veer off a little bit more dramatically, get down to here, and then it'll make a right or a left, a left turn here at a 90 degree. Well, almost 90 degree. I feel like this is the more economical. I feel like that would make more sense. And that would be easier to expand the hover pad for. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's go for that then. Uh, how many straight pieces do I want this to have? We'll just go, maybe we'll go to the middle of this one. stay straight for uh, one eight meters no 16 meters two foundations worth go to here and grab this and it'll go there and then we just have to get it down underneath so 
from here is where it'll start to go down. And I'd say we can probably, uh, we can probably just use the one meter uh, ramps. As long as it gets us, oh, it might not. Maybe. Uh, sort of gets us to the right spot. Then we'd have to do a curve after this, which would be at least two or three. That's probably okay for now. So we need to get flat. And then one, two. Probably here. I'm trying to remember the spacing for going down a ramp, and I really do not remember. If you start here, it um, can be a little bit squirrely. So usually what you want to do is start on the track or on the flat or the angle and then stop. I just can't remember how many ticks it is. Two, three, four, maybe. So that's perfectly flat with the foundations. And then from here, That actually looks pretty good. So we know that's straight. And then we've got uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three. But we don't need to go at a perfectly right angle because this is going to be a few degrees off. So at this point, I can probably do a left hand curve starting with this foundation. And this is why I wanted to have singles as well as doubles. So I can grab my four meter left bend. Oh, that's, I need to change. Right, I gotta get rid of this first. Snap it at the wrong thing. Five degree left band. Mm, that might be too far. Oh, that's going to take a long time. Right. Ooh, um, we are going to use the track instead. So this is going to be rough, but we've got, um, this finally gets down to flat. So then we've got one, two, three, and then two, three. So right here, I should be able to place a track in the dark. And this will be not quite a 90 degree turn. 
So whenever you're doing this stuff, you always want to have like a straight track here and a straight track there. Makes your life a lot easier. Also, so does building in the daylight. Yeah, so it looks, it almost looks like a 90 degree, but it'll get us on the grid for that. Sweet. Uh, I need to take a break because it's dark. Uh, it's also very hard to build in the game in the dark. And uh, I'm just going to pop myself up on one of these refineries. You guys can watch the moonrise sunrise. I'm going to reheat the coffee, uh, maybe even brew a little bit more. And uh, I'll be back in about five to seven minutes. I really appreciate new folks coming in and sticking around. Give me just a little bit. I'll be right back.
All right. Uh, I need to turn. Why did the music not stop playing? Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to turn that back on in a second. I just got a delivery from Amazon, and uh, I don't know whether they left it at my apartment door or whether they left it at downstairs outside the locked door. So I'm just going to need another minute or two uh, to go grab that. So uh, bear with me. I will be. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, they left it outside my apartment door, so very easy. Uh, happy to when they do that. I, I wish they would actually, like, buzz. They never actually buzz into the building or call me. They just kind of text me and say, hey, it's been delivered. It's like, what? It's, it would be nice to know when that was. Um, obviously, I had um, alerts on my phone turned off as well. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to pop in real quick before we get back into Satisfactory and uh, point people towards uh, the Imp and Skiz podcast, which I recorded last weekend and was published on Friday. The Spawn Chunks podcast, which we recorded a new episode of yesterday, and that's out now. And the Citadel Cafe podcast. Uh, these are all free. Uh, they're extra content for me that you can uh, listen to on your way to work or when you're cleaning the house or whatever. And uh, the Citadel Cafe, we talked about the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power Season 2, myself and Pixel Riffs. Uh, that's been recorded. It just hasn't been published yet. So that's coming tomorrow, I hope. That's the plan. Uh, and... Uh, also the Patreon page. Uh, I, I really appreciate all the support that people have been uh, using and, and um, sending my way here on Twitch. And uh, some folks have decided to join the Patreon. It's a great way to support your favorite creators and it really helps me out a lot. And uh, that's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. So thanks ever so much to everybody that's been popping in with the bits and um, some new subs. And uh, if you want to join the Discord, you can do either a tier one sub or a prime sub, or you can join the Patreon. It's all kind of leading to the same place depending on which way you like to support. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. Okay, where were we here? That should bring the train down there. I guess we might bring the train back up to this level. That could be good too. I was designing a roller coaster. <laughs> sort of. So this is a little bit farther to the right than I was anticipating, but we can always adjust that later. Alright, so that actually went right up to that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know where or when the train platform is actually going to start. I just kind of grabbed from the edge of this for now. So we'll start there. And a train station. <clears throat> oh, it does fit on four. That would have to go bigger than that. What's this coming in on? Center. So we'll center this then. Might as well do five.
feel like these are shinier than they normally are. Oh, that's why. The tick is missing its walk cycle. Game immersion as it as its finest. Uh, so this is one, two, three, really don't know how much space we're going to need. We are really only picking up... We're really only picking up plastic and rubber. I want to give myself at least room for four cars, if not five. Because I'm thinking like two for plastic, two for rubber, and probably maybe packaged fuel or something, if we have a chance to do that. I don't know what other resources are in the area, actually. I've not really scanned for much out here. Uh, there's no quartz nearby, I don't think. Is there any sulfur? Sam would be interesting. Oh, it is right there. Huh. That might be closer and easier to get to than the other Sam. That is a normal SAM node. Probably a pie would be my guess. My guess is that it's up there. Right up there, maybe. We could bring that down easy enough, though. So we'd want this to have a good eight meters straight. So one, two. And I will just grab the same ramp and go back down. Now over here, I think I was from the bottom of this. And I don't know how we're going to support tracks that are so close to the ground. The hover stuff makes sense for up in the air, but I'm not sure about this stuff here. Uh, but we were a full foundation away from the bottom and then a half foundation on the way up. So... We'll just do here. It was a full foundation here. Actually, I can probably delete. I don't know that it really matters. And then a half foundation here. So there. And if memory serves, we were also about a half from the top as well. And 
the reason you want to do this is that if you try to go all the way up here, see it makes this really weird curve. Sometimes you want it to do that, but most of the time you don't. So you go here. Railroad Tycoon. I didn't quite catch that. 500 meters of railroad or something like that, it said. And then at the top, I don't remember how far we were. I didn't connect it, so I don't know if that's right. I stopped. Oh, there. Is that going to work? I did the opposite of what I thought I was going to do. So I have to go a full foundation from the top and then start a half meter back. So I'll have to do that again. So this will be a half meter back starting there. This was a half meter from the bottom. Sorry, I keep on saying half meter. It's half foundation, so four meters from the bottom. And then this will stop eight meters from the top. Here. And then this should connect to the here, no problem. And see, it clips in a little bit, but it's not much. And we're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna keep these foundations or not, probably not. And then this should connect to that smoothly. Get rid of all the construction stuff. We know we're on the right grid now. This is our destination. I feel like that feels pretty good. looks very much like a robot designed it which is what I want and I don't think we're gonna connect this with foundations if we do there is a way to do it uh, nicely but for now I think what I'll do is I'll just go with wherever the straight bit starts so we will just get rid of all the stuff in between Good for now. So this would continue on. So for this, I can probably just remove this. And that should be straight. So I should. Now that I've got this connection here, I should be able to grab this and just go straight until. Yeah. Until it runs out. And then we'll switch. So this is technically where we'd want to have one of those hover parts. But it might look a little bit weird. This close to everything. So this might actually have to be a structure for it to look decent. So you can see why we wanted to have a lot of steel being produced before we started doing railroads. We use a lot of it. Now don't think that this is going to work. So I may have to think of another way to do this. Uh, but now that we've got that happening, we can go back and bring this up. Now I don't know, I guess we can just do every 12 and see where we get to. 
The cool thing is once we start um, building this stuff, we can start to get rid of the concrete and start to reuse it. For someone earlier in the game, why trains? Uh, they move things in vast quantities uh, at really fast speeds from one place to another. Um, you can technically move things on belts, but your throughput on a belt is limited to whatever the belt speed is. Your throughput on a train uh, can be higher depending on the size of the train, how fast it's filling up. So basically you have the round trip time for the train, you have the capacity of the train via how many cars you have, and whether or not you can unload it at each station fast enough so that it's always kind of like a constant flow. And so you end up with um, a much better way to move things around. Uh, for example, I'm bringing the plastic and the rubber to us so that we can make our, our computer plant over there rather than taking all the stuff from there and bringing it towards the... I mean, we could do both, honestly. We could load up... We could figure out what's going to move things the best and we could load up um, our... Um, what do you want to call it? Copper sheets. Like, we could move the copper sheets or we could move the plastic. It just depends on what's going to be the most efficient way to do that, right? So that's going to only make it to there. So rather than putting in a hover thing right here, I'm going to wait until here because this is where I think the bend is going to happen. It's going to make the most sense. So we'll do that like this. And then from here, we'll go two at a time. I find that there's a certain amount of like um, accepting where you are in this game and moving on. Like I would want to maybe tweak this railroad and have it be, we'll say perfect, exactly how I wanted it. But at a, at a certain point, you're just like, God, I just don't want to redo it over and over again, you know? So this will come to here. Now this would be too short. So here's where we need to Start the straight track. Oh, that's not straight. We need to fudge this a little bit. So this is the track that keeps things set to being straight. So normally we'd want to go to here, but then that's going to be too short for one more track, so we're just going to go that way and it should look okay. Again, I think sometimes I'm comparing how crooked it looks to the foundations and I'm forgetting that the foundations are not going to be here, right? So now we can delete this and this is pointed directly straight so we can go ahead and just knock this out. I do forget how long this takes. It looks so cool and it's really, really useful and fun when it's done. But like you just, you forget how long away it is, you know? Having a proper hotbar setup helps, for sure. Just went into tier four, got a refinery, and I am just making steel for no purpose at this point. Just know it's going to be eventually useful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're making steel, but in a not in a refinery. You're using a refinery for other stuff, right? Foundry is how you do steel. 
Uh, one thing that you could benefit from Loki if you have a refinery is doing uh, packaged biofuel. Um, what are you doing for power right now? For anybody that maybe missed the start of this, uh, the reason why I'm painting these foundations blue is that this is where our hover supports are going to go. And they have a blue glow to them, so that's why it's blue. And this is a long way. Double check my own fuel supplies when I get back. Hopefully, we have enough steel for this. I brought a lot. I wish that you could build with yourself in the way. I feel like there should be like a allowance for that because it makes it very difficult to um, build with a flow in certain situations. Okay, so it's, we're pretty far away. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't think it's going to look out at a place. Now this, I could probably delete. Make sure I'm pointing at the straight one. Just connect that to there. So now technically we could use a train manually. I just have to get back on the track going the other way. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I will paint this blue here. Not that I think there's going to be a hover support, but I think this is where there needs to be like an actual support. So probably... Where do I want this? You know what? I would say probably way back there. You know, there might be a good use for hover support right there. Um, let's back it up by a bit. Probably right there. And then the structure would probably be more like here. Just as an example of what we might want to do. We would make it look space age and cool, but for now, it'll look like it's got at least feet on it. Uh, and then I guess on the other side of this, we'd have to have another support somewhere. I feel like we'd probably do a structure all the way to here. that point yeah so one two three four five five six seven eight nine ten eleven I'll just add one more cool 
So, uh, I probably should loop this around. The good news is we're at the right height. And I need to get, what did I say I wanted? Four or five train cars? What do these cost to actually build? Freight platform. Yeah. Must be placed within another train platform. Oh, I need the... Right. I need the other thing first. This is going to be 16 meters? Yes. Okay, so... I'll give myself another foundation. I need one, two, three, four, plus. So if I put this on the edge. Face the wrong way. Oh, no, it's annoying. kind of ramp do I need to get up there? So now I should be able to do at least four. We can always move this later. for one more if I really need it. Now, uh, transformer name for the train station. Uh, Google Foo in the chat room. Uh, what's a good train name or train station name for this area that would involve a transformer that has to do with like plastic and rubber? Like, I don't know. Maybe Mirage would be good because of just how lush and green it is. And Mirage was like an F1 racer. And he'd be like burning rubber, squealing around. The puppy is trying to eat you, Sandy. They're supposed to eat food, not people. Just FYI. Although if I get an American bully, I might convince people that, it's, that it may eat you. Depending on whether I like people or not, I think that could be useful. So again, we're going to go out here a little ways. I want to the middle of this. So two, three, two, three. I think I'm just going to go right down the side here. I don't know if I can make that turn. One, two, three, four. I cannot. Five, six. So again, you tend to not want to turn right off of the... This won't work usually. Um, you want to get out to here. It's really annoying that you have to like put this little stick on the end of your stuff because you don't really want to. So one, two, three. I might be able to make it to here. We'll 
find out. Too sharply. Yeah. Let's go to here. This I just find so bizarre. No, that doesn't work. Oh. I find it so hard from the ground to figure out where you're supposed to be. Like, to turn a train around, it should not be that difficult. Why did that not connect? Am I out of... Oh, yeah, I'm out of steel. All right, well, looks like we're going back. The good news is we can use a train to get back, so it'll be a little bit faster. I'll just be driving on the wrong side of the road. Astro Train is the only one that you can think of. Omega Supreme... That would be a good name for a big base. I have the Omega Supreme toy. I still I still have it. Oh, this is not going to have any power. Um, unless I power this train station. And then it won't matter. with Mirage for now, I guess. Mirage was the F1, right? Or was he the Porsche? Mirage was the Porsche. What was the F1 transformer? Oh no, Mirage Mirage was a Mirage was the F1 in the cartoons. It was um Mirage was a Porsche in the movies. That's what it was. Sorry, right. I'm cool with Mirage. For now, we can always change it later. It's not a big deal. You can change these whenever you want. So we're powered, so I got lots of room. So that's good. Uh, so now I can just use a train to get myself back. I'll be driving on the wrong side of the track, but that's okay. And this is where everybody gets to see how fast it is to drive a train. And if Mirage was blue and white, do we want to do... He was mostly white, actually. Maybe we'll do a quick custom color, and I'll do... This is going to be the main white. And then I'll do Autobot Blue there. Yeah. So you're going to be traveling at upwards of 150 kilometers an hour with a train? So it doesn't seem like it because you're it's such a big a big ride but um, it's much faster than everything else in the game you're in a bay and it may uh, may mine keep returning to that as part of the name uh, still drawing blanks Astro train hmm the, one of the builds I have here in my other playthrough is the Megatron Power Facility and the Scourge Water Facility, but they're all Decepticon names, so I'm trying to stick with the Autobots this time around. Uh, 
So right now, technically, if I hook up this other train to power, uh, we could have like an auto autopilot situation. I just have to finish the blocks. I like that we're close enough to that that it looks really cool. I don't think I'm going to need... I might as well add a couple of train cars. Just in case we need them. I find what I was doing before was like naming the actual trains transformers and then naming the, the stations something more about like the location on the planet. Something a little bit more helpful in that way. Steel, steel, steel. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I don't need more concrete because I can always rip out the concrete. Maybe we'll bring some anyway. Just to have on the train. Oh, right. I don't have any here. So now we've got a mobile construction unit, which will come in very ha handy. Stuff. Who needs a walkway when you can just jump from one platform to the next? Concrete, what was the other thing that I needed? Uh, path and block signals are computers. Do I have more computers? I'm not making computers anywhere, I don't think. I've got nine more. How much do they cost? Oh, just one each, that should be okay. More gas. I think we're good. Circuit boards coming along. Good, good, good. Are we missing anything? Probably plastic, right? Yeah, this is why we need to bring the plastic train down this way, because I think I'm out. Yeah. Probably take that with me. And what do we want to call this? I guess a uh, wheel jack. West and east. I don't know how this works with a two-way train. I've never done it before. I should. Uh, it might stop for the blocks, but we'll see. So once you're in a train, you can hit tab. You can edit your timetable, and we're going to say Mirage, and save the changes, and then turn on self-driving, and as long as the blocks are all green, we should be able to get there. And now I don't have to do anything. We can just hang out and chat. So once I have trains going, um, when I go on my brakes on Satisfactory, I usually have a train going around in a loop, and so people ride the train for the break. It's way more engaging than just sitting and staring at the, the sunset. It may stop. Yeah, it's gonna stop. That's fine. I thought it might. Uh, 
I also do not like where they drop you when you get out of a train. Not, not my favorite. Uh, we'll just go manual. I think the curve looks pretty good. It's a pretty view and then nice gentle swing around. We will engage with ourselves and plot how to use pink in your builds. Nice. Yeah, the view from trains is really quite cool. So I should be able to manually select this track. It looks like it's already selected to go left. If I do arrow keys, you can usually see it switch. WASD. I'll take us down here. Not great for the camera, but at least it works. So that got to two. there. So I need to get this. Two, three. Two, three. Don't know if I can do this. We'll see. Generally, they don't like you connecting to the very end platform. No? It's okay, but it doesn't feel like a 45, does it? Can I do it to here? I just want to be as, as tight as possible. Like, I want to turn around as quickly as possible because there's no other reason to be out here. That looks to me like what I want. So I'm wondering now if I can actually come a little bit closer. No. Right, so that's usually why I go out um, a little bit to like the middle of a foundation. So let's see, it'll do it to here. Guess that's the tightest you can go. I just find that the, the turnaround is just obnoxious. Um, one, two, three. I should be able to get to here. Given the technology in the game, you'd think that you'd be able to turn these a lot faster, right? How does that not go? There's only two foundations. I need to be over here. The weird thing is, like, I could do this in a loop and then tuck right in next to this.
I, I'm trying to figure out like what's the best way to lay out your tracks for patterns. So like, if you're on this foundation, you go to the one, two, and then the middle of that one, right? But I've seen people do tighter turns than that, and I don't know why. Like, I feel like you should be able to do tighter, but I think that's because I like going from the middle of foundations, and some people like going from the edge. But given that this is a good four foundations apart here, like, I could curve this back, but I'll just go with this for now. have a hover track for a single, do I? I guess I should mark it anyway. Oh, I changed the color. Whoops. Mm. Get that back. At least I know where the blocks are going to be. And then we just have to connect this up to the track running the other way. And I think the easiest thing to do here would be to also have a track kind of running parallel. So it might be cool to line this up so this looks a little bit more organized. So at the same point here where they connect, we'll also put a track going this way. So I have one running this way. Oh. Hmm. I probably want to start that from here. Uh, Monarchs fan, thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. There's supposed to be a, yeah, I guess I could charge, I could paint this too. So go to here. And then it was this one. So we'll just kind of make this look symmetrical, like that, and then this goes on to there. And then this is going to connect to in this way. But 
I need it to go. What's going on? Don't know why that's on the wrong side. I guess maybe you have to connect this back part first. So this doesn't have to be a very big turn, but it's almost 90, so we might as well just back up. So one, two, three. So we'll use this one. One, two, three, and then one, two, three to here. Now, hopefully, this will connect the right way. Arsirian, subscribe with Prime. That's two months. That's two consecutive months, months of figuring out how to navigate the silly prime sub run around. Oh man, look, I hear you. They don't make it easy. They don't make it easy. Uh, Arsirian, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much. That's fantastic. I completely forgot about my coffee, which means that it's been sitting here for an hour, which is not good. Uh, that is one strong cup of coffee. So this should... Like, why is it not giving me the right connections here? Hmm. Maybe I need block signal. Yeah, why is it not being friendly here? Hmm. It's weird. Maybe if I delete this part? Uh, no, this part. I don't remember. I thought that the tracks were always... I thought the, the signs, the switch points were always on the right-hand side. Maybe this has to go in this way. Nope. Why is it not? Hmm. That's dumb. Because nothing's ever going to be coming this way. I guess I could just... Can I delete this? No. Hmm. Weird. Uh, I need to take a break, which means I'm going to attempt. I don't think the train is going to really work. Uh, it'll probably get all the way back to Wheeljack and then stop. So it won't be able to go in a full loop, but I'll see if we'll get there. Um, if not, then it'll just kind of like stick on on here. So we'll just go um, self-driving. Oh, I need uh, wheel jack east. I'm just gonna see what happens here. Gonna work. Signaling problem, no, I didn't think so.
That's right. I'll turn off self-driving. And unfortunately, we're just not quite ready to have a train loop on the brake. So once again, I'll be hanging out here for a little bit uh, while I go and grab a stretch. You should too. Uh, if, we've, if you've been here for the, the bulk of the stream, then by all means, give yourself a good break, grab some food, uh, and I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
Can I delete this as the most dangerous question and satisfactory? That is accurate. That is accurate. Oh, that didn't line up at all. Well then. Thank you, Sandy. Well, the doggo is settling down too. All right, uh, do I want to bring this train back a little bit? I probably do. So, yeah, this doesn't make any sense to me. I'm really surprised that this is not on the other side. Um, anyway, what we do need to do here, though, is have um, a block signal here, I think. And then there will also be another one down this way. So the fact that these are offshoots may or may not cause a problem. Once this is connected in a loop, we should be okay. So again, I'm gonna make a block out of the train station. Depending on how you're loading up your train stations, you may wanna do this in a different position. I'll do it here. And I'm also going to put a block at the other end of the train station. And I guess I could put it here. There makes more sense. Uh, I'm okay with this being a, a full block. This doesn't need to be fancy. There's only ever going to be one train on this block anyway. Unfortunately, with this whole block system, you have to have a complete system for them to actually start to work with one another. Right? So this whole gray block, that's fine. Nothing wrong in there. I do need this to be a separate block, though. I think this needs to be a path signal. Because it's going into an intersection. Yes, I think that's what I wanted. Maybe. And then along here, uh, is this 12? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, okay. So let's go with block signals or uh, block signals here. Oh, I missed another spot. Wow. Off my game. I don't know whether we need to do this every every 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 yeah hmm I guess we can always delete them So now we're just going to go back the other way. I 
At least if they're already marked, I don't have to guess. I can just aim for the middle of this and keep on going, right? It's a little faster. Uh, which mod to put on an old-timey villain with someone tied up on the track? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the old cartoons or the old westerns. Uh, you can be hit by the trains, by the way. Um, if there's automatic trains flying around on your world, uh, you don't want to be standing on the track when they go by. Uh, trains can also collide and crash. It's easy to put them back on, but it obviously interrupts the flow of your products from one place to the other. So, worth noting. I did not realize how long of a straight line this is. We may only end up putting blocks every two. I think that the idea is that whatever the longest train is in the game, which I think is 12, including two locomotives, that's your block idea. A trolley problem Ada in the game? For sure. How spectacular is the crash? Eh. They just kind of like crumble and fall off. So yeah, I think I may go with every other um, support for blocks. Might be a little bit easier to do. Uh, it also is gonna, um, it might depend on how many computers we have. We might not have enough. This is when things get hairy because I'm not going to have a lot of room to stand. It's like we missed a spot somewhere. Oh no, this is a different... came from the different direction. So I think I decided not to put one there and just to put it on the curve. That's probably what happened. Uh, now this is the last straight piece. Yes. So this shouldn't matter. They should still be at the same kind of intervals. So we'll bring this down to here. We've already done. I feel like we should start from this side. So be one, two to here. I feel like that should be lining up more with that line in the middle. Yeah, that's not right. That's not looking good at all. It should be lining up with the foundation. 
Uh, I guess we have to go from where it starts. That would make sense. Even though we're traveling in the other direction. Yeah. So what I was looking at is the fact that this is completely in line with the middle. It wasn't coming back the other way. I just, it's, it's really not intuitive the way that they do this in the game. It's, uh, it's the kind of thing where like you just learn from watching other community members do it. I'm not sure how other people have figured out how this all works. I watched Total Eclipse to learn how to do the rails. Actually, if you do bang SS creators in, in chat, you'll get a list of other creators that I, uh, I follow. Okay, it's good. Now, this is going to be very tricky. When I get off this train, it will put me on the right. They always seem to put you on the right. So be very careful. If the amount of space you have on the right is very little, it'll not be a good time. So this is one of those hover platforms that has the stuff in there already. And I have to actually delete this platform because I think I built this before I changed the lighting. Let me just check. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to go. And yeah, I'll have to do a straight track from back there. And we'll have to go from this point, I guess. Now, is that straight? Yes. Having the train to stand on also helps too. Right, so then that won't work, so I have to back that up. This is going to be straight here. Should disconnect to here. Uh, when did you build this platform? I'm interested in watching the process of making these curves. Uh, that happened today. We started off doing a couple of blueprints at the very start of the stream, and then I um, did the, the whole the whole path today. It Once you get the blueprints, it doesn't take very long. Also, big head face. Hi. Sorry, I didn't see you come in. Yeah, the hover packs work off the train tracks as well. So it, it once you have the hover pack, which I do not, uh, not have it yet, uh, it's a lot better. I prefer it for content creation too because I find that the jetpack bouncing around is, is kind of hard on the on like the visuals, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we need blocks every single platform.
I'm actually surprised we were able to get this full loop done in one stream. Normally this takes a long time. I mean, we haven't decorated it, but at least it's functioning. So I could just go right in like that, which I may, I may do that for now. That way. I may do that for now. So let's just see how long a train is. So if I did uh, electric locomotive, Guess it can go either way. And then, what does the wiki say? I'm sure that there's probably some weight distribution thing. Train. Construction, locomotive UI, timetable, driving, braking, speed. Collision, weights and forces. I think it's one locomotive to every four freight car. For locomotives, this is a static 4.4, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of physics here. I just really wish they would tell you, you need X amount of... Um, cars per train. Train length. A single locomotive can pull approximately 100 freight cars on a perfectly flat rail, granted they are empty. However, even a slight incline will cause the weight of 100 cars to quickly overcome the locomotive. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Ramps, blah, 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 blah. Just give me the information I want. Yeah, they don't say. That's annoying. I bet your Reddit knows. Anybody here say that was four years ago? Anybody in the chat know? I feel like it's eight freight and two locomotives. Yeah, a hundred empty cars, but that doesn't help me because then the, the article just goes on to start doing a lot of math. And like, I just, I want to know what's like the standard to handle hills etc so that we don't have to worry about it in the future right looks like one to five okay so i was almost right so that's 12 total. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then another locomotive. Yeah, so we don't want to have signals every block. We want to have signals every, signals every other block would be my, my assessment. So we would start here and we would skip this one. You'd use that one and then we'd skip that one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. That's all I needed to know. I found that on actually the freight car. I think it was the freight car wiki. Hold on, let me bring it up. Yeah, so this is what I was looking for. Um, on ups or downs, I'm not probably gonna do very many four meter ramps. Those are really steep. Um, so it's just like two meter ramp, max number of freight cars fully loaded is five per one locomotive. So I just said, okay, well, two locomotives could haul 10, and that's a total train length of 12 cars. And so that's about the length of um, 24, or two of the previous blocks we had. So that's how I sorted it out. Uh, update eight, I've used uh, max cars of four. Yeah, I mean, really, you're pushing it if you have more, and you'd have to have a really crazy amount of stuff coming if that was what you were doing. I was just thinking about like general, kind of like laying out the system so that it worked the way we wanted it to. So I'm just gonna back this guy out. So technically we could have one before the curve, but I think the support is gonna look better at the curve. So I'll skip uh, that one and just put it a few blocks later. Uh, however, I do need to replace this. And I don't remember exactly how we're gonna do that. I guess I can just attach something on here. That has to go. And then we, I need to do another blueprint. So I may actually have to drop down here. Oh, he's gonna be in the way, isn't he? It's annoying. So we need to load. Um, no blocks. So how, let's load this up and change the color to be something else. The blocks are green. So let's go with maybe, maybe we'll see. There's no blocks. Two ray, two rail support by floating. Two rail floating platform support uh, with no signals. And we'll save that. Correct. Uh, and then I'm going to delete the tracks. And save this as one with no signal and no tracks. And we'll change this to, I don't know, maybe just like a gray.
So I'm going to change this to have signals. So I'm going to change this color to green because the signals are usually green. Two rail support. Loading platform. With rails and signals. No blocks and no tracks. Okay. So I should be able to snap one of these right in here. All I have to do is just line it up with the middle. I think that looks right. And then we've got the floating platform there. This is going to be so sketchy <laughs> to move around on. Uh, and then I'm going to need block signals here as well. One going that way and one going that way. In train composition it says one to four. Okay, cool. Uh, that's still longer than what we had for a block, so putting these blocks every other floating platform is still the best way to go, I think. And I don't know what we do here. I guess we do that? That's saying no entry. I'm not sure how that works in the end. Weird. I'm, I don't know. I've never done a, a back and forth train that's part of the network. Usually you have to separate them. So this this little connection here may not may not work. It says green light there, but it's not going to go past there. I don't know. We may have to add another block in the end. We'll have to see. Oh, you know what it is. I bet you I need... I bet you I need double blocks. So I bet you I need a, a signal in and a signal out. Here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. A little weird. A little weird. Hopefully we can get the full full thing running. Right, so I'm probably going to skip that one here and we'll use this one. Now this is the sketchy part. Yo. Yeah. Not a fan. And I'll delete that one. And then we'll go down the line. I'm not sure what's faster. To just drive the train and do it or do it on foot. Not sure I have much advice, but I've found 74 hard drives and it's just been from using the hand scanner and exploring. I haven't used any websites to look them up. Oh, that's really cool. That's a lot. Um, anyone with significant time in the game have tips for exploring, gathering hard drives? 
spheres and sloops. I'm doing everything I can to procrastinate on setting up aluminum process processing. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, aluminum is a, is a pain in the butt. I think that's good advice from the penguin dude. Um, it's really, it's a very cool map to explore. So I'd say go for it. Yeah, if you've got the hand scanner walking around, I would say, honestly, you could probably knock two birds out with one stone by walking around the map, maybe figuring out where you're going to put some train lines. But as you're going, use the hand scan scanner and look for stuff. I was doing that when I was looking for quartz and coal. Yeah, so we'll put another one here. The train is going to get like a a wash as it goes by here. And then I guess this feels far enough away. Yeah. So then we've got one and then two. I wish they kept the colors of the blocks bright and vibrant. I don't care if they recycle the colors, but the fact that they go to like brown, it's weird. Really hard to see sometimes. Snuggly Boo Bear with 500 bits, my gosh. Uh, they say they gotta run. Joel and all, it's been fun. Probably won't be back for about a month with a work trip. Thanks for being you. Cheers to Joel and all, that's really sweet. Thanks very much. Uh, take care and have a good work trip. Hope it's productive and smooth sailing. Stress-free travel, as always. About 500 bits. That's amazing. Thank you ever so much. Uh, if anybody else is uh, looking at bits, there's uh, text-to-speech stickers as well as uh, regular stream stickers for a little bit of fun on stream. Uh, did I go, go past where I wanted to go? Yes, I did. This is not going to work with the train on it, I don't think. I think I've got this worked out, so it's going to get us to where we need to go with uh, the right kind of spacing. Like, whose idea was it for Swamp Green? I'm sure it's just pre-programmed random colors, right? Uh, speaking of stickers, I think I tried to send one earlier. Is it perhaps stuck on a mod queue? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sorry about that. Let me just check. None of them should be... Oh, you know what? I bet you I misunderstood the setting. Hold on. General text-to-speech. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was my bad. I thought it was manually approve the stickers from stream stickers, not manually approve the actual stickers that were here. Do you remember when you sent it? I don't see it. It's 
So I have a problem with the settings on stream stickers is that they will let you say, don't automatically add new stickers, but they will not let you stop automatically adding text to speech stickers, which is annoying because those are the ones that you don't want to add without proving them, like proving them first, right? 205. Yeah, my chat only goes back to two o'clock. Sorry about that. Um, Penguin did probably about two hours ago. So three o'clock. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Um, I don't see anywhere. It's not even showing up. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it says it expired. Did it charge you the bits? The council has decided that RC inspired roller coaster would be just prime. It was a Optimus Prime sticker. Is that what that was? Um, so it looks like Custom reward TTS. Yeah, I guess I can pop that out. That's annoying. So it expired. Uh, as long as you didn't get charged the bits, then that was my fault. So there's a setting that says manually approve all TTS stickers, but I misread that to be manually approving TTS stickers coming to me, not stickers coming from you. I think it gave them back. I'll send again. Okay, cool. Um, but thank you very much for... Um, you should have said something earlier. Uh, anybody that's been in my chat for a little while has got enough channel points to highlight a message. If you're not a mod and you want to get my attention, use some channel points and highlight a message in chat, and I usually see it. I was probably focusing on, on not falling off my train. So we're going to add one here. Like that highlight is black, right? The council has decided that a roller coaster RC theme will be just prime. Thank you for the TTS sticker, Penguin Dude. Uh, that's very funny. Uh, well played. I like I like the fact that there's a... I, I did not plan it. Uh, the fact that they have a Optimus Prime sticker is just really good fortune for the fact that we have a Transformers-themed satisfactory save. Like, that's just wild. Love it. Uh, I guess we're going to have to do some manual stuff here. So this is going to need a block there. And I guess this needs a block immediately thereafter. I don't know how to... We may have to do like small segments here for this to work better. Because once this is on this block, this should be fine. Like this all being one white block is okay. Um, still newish to the whole Twitch ecosystem. This sticker will make Joel explain the North American house hippo to Americans. It's an endangered species. Well played. Uh, that's great. Thanks so much, Loki. From a fellow Canadian. I appreciate that. Uh, let me just answer our Syrians questions first. Still newish to the whole Twitch ecosystem. Are bits and channel points the same thing or different? No. So uh, they're different. Uh, bits are uh, ways to tip the streamer. So 100 bits is a dollar. Uh, you buy bits from Twitch uh, at a premium. 
and then when you donate them to the streamer, you know exactly what you're giving. It's it's I would when I receive 100 bits, I receive a dollar from Twitch. Um, but Twitch makes their money off of the purchase of bits by viewers. Uh, channel points are things that you earn while watching my stream. Uh, and some channels have different rewards. I don't do a lot of like interruptive stuff. I, I don't tend to have like sounds and uh, different things for different channel points. Some other creators do. Um, so the channel points right now, you can unlock an emote if you're not a subscriber and you can highlight a message. Highlighting a message is a great idea. So for example, uh, you might have had enough uh, channel points to highlight that question. So if I'm missing something in chat or feel like you asked a question and I don't get it, feel free to like copy paste and say it again with the channel highlight. Like I really, I really don't mind. Uh, it's totally cool. A uh, big head face has just done a highlighted message. I saw it right away. Sandy as well. And it's only 500 channel points and you can accumulate them pretty fast. Um, and then uh, the other way uh, that you can use bits is with these stickers. There should be just above my head here. There should be like a little heart that when you hover your mouse over the Twitch video, you can click on that heart and then choose a sticker. There are regular stickers that just go down. I can give you an example. Um, so if, if I choose a global sticker and I just say, let me just grab ones that I can actually see. Um, here's a good one for this, this game. So there's a regular sticker. Uh, and then a text to speech sticker is something where you can actually get, um, the sticker to say something. And that's what, um, Loki Loki just did a few minutes ago with the prime and uh, sorry, he did the, the GLaDOS sticker saying this sticker will make Joel explain the North American house hippo to Americans. Come to the dark side. We have stickers. Uh, thanks very much. Cosmic dancer for 200 bits and the Darth Vader TTS sticker. I really appreciate it. Also hi cosmic. Uh, and that kicked off a hype train. Look at that. Amazing. Uh, thank you so, so much. Uh, I really appreciate that. That's the second hype train this this stream. Wow. Uh, so folks, if you want to jump in on the hype train, you will get a new emote from Twitch if you don't have them all already. Uh, it is 100 bits, a tier one sub or a prime sub to participate in the hype train. I should say 100 bits or more. If you do a sticker, it'll also contribute to the hype train. That's why that sticker from Cosmic just kicked off the hype train. Um, so the house, the, the, South, the uh, North American house hippo, this was an old, I'm gonna, I'll switch. This was an old commercial that was meant to teach kids not to believe everything that you saw on TV. And it was uh, a video comp of a hippo roaming around in someone's house. But the hippo was like the size of a hamster. And they had it like going inside of like chip bags and under the couch and in shoes and the laundry hamper and stuff like that. And so it was a, a public service announcement meant to tell kids like, hey, don't believe everything you see on TV. Uh, and it's become kind of a, a meme and a joke. If you look it up on YouTube, the North American House Hippo, you will 100% be able to watch it. It's an old commercial from the 80s. All right, let's see. I think this all being one block is fine. All the way into there. Then it switches to a new block out to here. And then it switches to a new block. Now, the only thing that's not going to work is this. I think that having no path is bad. I don't know why that's not good. It should be a path on your way into an intersection and a block on the way out. But I think the fact that this is not a closed loop is a problem. So I think I need to have like another block in here somewhere temporarily. So why is this being stupid? Conflicting entry signal types. Well, that looks like green across the board. Holy crap. Gigantify an emote. 
zero t66 use 100 bits to gigantify an emote thanks very much and cosmic dancer uh says i'm gonna drop 10 tier one subs to the community thanks so much cosmic dancer that's amazing that went to druid gen wescraft mc mave star discord canada raz trexelman can can vrc nagrath dearman Nihilia, I hope I'm saying that right, and Machine Gun Hound, or Gun Hund. Thanks very much, Cosmic. That's incredible. Holy crap. Ten gifted subs. Folks, if you got a gift sub from Cosmic, make sure you drop them a thank you in the chat. Also, connect your Discord and your Twitch, uh, and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord, because now that you have a sub, you can hang out in the Discord, uh, and that will last the month that you have the sub. You'll have an option to renew at the end, or you can also roll over to Patreon if you want to do that a different way and stay in the discord but um save a bit of money as well thank you so so much cosmic that's amazing uh that is a level three hype train that's the farthest we've been in a little while uh we've got another three and a half minutes left uh once again it's 100 bits or a uh tier one or prime sub to get in on the hype train uh zero thanks again for the 100 bits as well i think i'm all caught up So we should be good, I want to say. I should be able to get to Mirage, no problem. Level three, we skipped a few stations. Yes, we did. I'm not getting the notifications. Are you guys getting the notifications? That was a prime gift. Assyrian, I am not seeing your thousand bits come up on screen. Did that come up on stream? Uh, thanks very much. Um, I, a, th a thousand bits, my gosh. That's ever so kind. I really, really appreciate that. Um, did it play? If not, I'll play it again. Where's my Streamlabs thing? I'm not sure. I'm... I might move off of Streamlabs, you know? I'm really starting to find that it's not the best. Dashboard. Recent events. There we go. Thanks again, Arsirian. I really appreciate it. Looks like we have an auto train. Yeah, I don't know why it went through. I wonder if it happened at the exact same time as a sticker. And stickers might grab priority because they've got audio. But stickers are a separate um, application. Like, they're not the same as Streamlabs. Jumping on board the choo-choo train, the hype train. Thanks very much. I really appreciate that, Bali. Holy smokes, the penguin dude. Another thousand bits, that's amazing. Thank you so, so much. Do we have a brake train? We might have a brake train. I think so. I think so, sweet Sandy. Let me just see. It's on autopilot now. Wheel jack east. The question is, will it turn around? Yep. The problem, of course, is that you're going to be driving backwards. Clean signals all the way through. Functioning train line just needs to be decorated. Good stuff. Uh, thanks again, uh, that penguin dude. I really, really appreciate the, uh, the bits. That's incredible. Uh, that is a level four hype train now. Three minutes and 30 seconds left on that. You can accept a backwards brick train. So 
So you can see what's happening here on the right hand side for anybody new. Every time this train enters into a new block, the block becomes uh, a no enter. And then when you leave, it switches back again. So if we watch, it'll go, it'll go back. It's hard to see. If I zoom out. I think we're going to, we can't quite see it, I don't think. But this way, if there was two trains, one behind one another, then they could travel quite close. Trains in this game are so good. I'm going to turn off self-driving here. Cool. So the only reason that works is because we've got a, a locomotive on either end facing another direction. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to create a loop on the other side. Uh, Loki Loki says, I hear that train coming. It's rolling around the bend. Yeah, I wondered if there was ever going to be uh, someone referencing um, referencing that song. Ain't seen the sunshine since Joel's last break. Yeah, I'm going to wait until the hype train is over. We've only got two more minutes left if anybody wants to jump in on that hype train. Uh, we can also start to think about how we're going to uh, load up some plastic and some rubber here. Uh, which one's which? I would say that's the... That's the plastic one there. So we'll probably make this the plastic one. So I'm going to extend this platform. Uh, I also want to be on the right level. For now, we're just going to keep it uh, very, very simple. We will make it look better in the future. That is the wrong, wrong height. Holy crap! Due to disruptions in the hype train operation, German trains are known for being late and unreliable. I'm forced to use the donation replacement service. Question mark. Holy crap! That's a level four hype train complete. And oh, you know what? I have to be careful. I have to. You know what it was? Uh, our Syrian. I'm realizing right now exactly what it is. I don't think I have alerts on my other screen and I probably went big screen to thank Cosmic or somebody and that's probably why we didn't hear your bits. Uh, I'll play them again. Um, I'll accept the backwards train only if it's pink, says Cosmic. Asperian is gifting five tier one subs. That's amazing. Thank you ever so much. Let's just see what I can get this dashboard to do. Yes. Don't know if I can do the whole... Is it going to play both? Nope. That's the recipient. Well, that's annoying. Uh, let me just read this out again here. Uh, thanks ever so much. That's a level 5 hype train. Holy crap. Uh, after Assyrian used 1,000 bits and the Penguin Dude used 1,000 bits... Our Syrian gifted five subs to the community. Thank you ever so much. Uh, I don't know who the first one went out to. It went out to Keyboard Smash. Uh, no Surin got the next one. Pajama Llama, Dave the Caveman, and Down the Tracks, fittingly, uh, considering we were doing some train work today. Uh, then Low88 did the donation. That was a $20 donation. Holy crap, Low. Thank you ever so much. Uh, due to disruptions, disruptions in the hype train operation, German trains are known for being late and unreliable. I am quote-unquote forced to use the donation replacement service. Uh, does that mean you can't access uh, stream stickers, Low? That's really odd. Uh, but thank you very much for the wonderful donation. My goodness. I really appreciate that. Zero uh, T triple six has gifted five subs that went out to the Penguin Dude. Um, no. 
I, I'll get that backwards. The penguin dude has gifted five subs. That went out to Mr. Fox Gaming, Lil Bunny Connie, Last Nomai. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, Samirato and Torton all received gift subs from that penguin dude. Thank you very much, penguin dude. Zero triple six used a hundred bits to contribute to the hype train, and Cosmic Dancer used a thousand bits to show some love in chat. I really appreciate all of the support. Holy crap, folks. What a great way to kick off the week. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, we also had a TTS sticker from Bali. Used Alexa to say, keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Thanks so much, Bali. I really appreciate that. What is going on? We are 98% of the way to a level five hype train. Two minutes last left. Um, and that was a, another five gifted tier one subs from Renong. Thanks very much, Renong. Uh, that went out to Dan Loops and Y. Hey, I recognize that username. Doc Thumper, Sinning Stan, Gray Sun 8151, and the J Man 85. Uh, thanks ever so much. That's amazing. Uh, Lowe says, Joel, I can use stickers, but I wanted to make a joke about German trains. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure they were working. Uh, I'm still new to the whole sticker thing. Um, for the podcast, says Renong. Thanks very much. I'm glad that you really enjoy uh, the podcast. Uh, did you watch the Imp and Skits podcast as well, or did you just catch the that's Bun Chunks this week? Uh, Zero T Triple Six with another 100 bits saying, are we there yet? And Bali 100 saying 100 bits as well. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier one sub to Raynong. Amazing. That means that uh, you and everyone that received a gift sub uh, today can join the Discord. Just do bang Discord in chat. You can connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts, and you should see the Joel Duggan Discord in your diction, di Discord connections tab. It's a mouthful of settings to get through. Um, Clement Large, Clement Lage? I don't know how to say your name. 100 bits. First time in chat. Wow. First time, you haven't even said anything and you're using 100 bits. That's amazing. Thanks very much. Uh, we are now officially on our way to a level six hype train with three minutes and 45 seconds to go. I agree, Dan Co Cosmic Dancer. That's one heck of a way to enter the chat. I really appreciate all this, folks. Wow, what an amazing way to start the week. Okay, I needed to make a platform here. This tick is going to be in the way, isn't it? Thank you ever so much, folks. Uh, three minutes left on the hype train. All right, so I'm going to move this over. And I need to figure out which way is the entrance on these. That's out. This is in. And we're going to use... We want the fastest belts we can use for these. here so this is just a temporary setup to get our rubber and plastic back to us excellent work chat we must continue in our experiment to break Joel <laughs> uh, thanks very much cosmic dancer I really appreciate the sticker and 200 bits uh, once again level 6 hype train we're at 12% of the way through that with another minute and a half left uh, now many bits to get you to download a mod and turn those ticks into orange cats. <laughs> uh, you can do that without, um, you don't need a mod. You can do that in the, um, in the game. That's a setting. You can 100% do that in the game. 
So this is unfortunately going to look like a big gray box for the time being. I don't know what we're going to do out here for our factory for plastic. But for now, uh, we just need to have a buffer to make sure that the train station uh, stays full when it is loading and unloading. So I'm going to roughly place this. I think that'll do. That should work, except for I've got it the wrong way around. Darn it. Out. That'll be there, and then we'll just do another one here. Uh, that completes the hype train. That is the biggest hype train we've had in a couple months, folks. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, I got a little duck emote. You can share them in chat if you want to see what you got. Uh, Renong, you and I got the same one. Very, very cool. Uh, that's a level 5 hype train. Again, thank you ever so much for the support, folks. Wow. Absolutely amazing way to start the week. Alright, so that's plastic and rubber. So the question now is... Um, plastic and rubber. I don't need the... That's a merger, that's a merger. What I need is a smart splitter, which is what's happening here. So this is going into there first and then overflow. So what I should do is maybe take this off of the train. Yeah, this should come out this way. So I'll bring these around and send them to the train. Yeah. And I should be able to do that probably down this line. Yep. I feel like that's straight. We'll just do... How much is this actually making? I can probably do one belt. I don't need two belts right now. This is only making 20 rubber. And this is only making 20 plastic. So we can probably just combine them. Uh, although that's probably not a good idea now that I think about it. We'll just get them on top. Whoops. just be able to connect this up here. Oh, we're so close. Here first.
Oh, I guess I should have left that there. This is the day you will always remember that you almost forgot about your break. <laughs> Until Cosmic reminded you. Rum is still gone, though. <laughs> Thanks, Cosmic. Oh, that's great. Uh, we're not going to put the plastic in here. I want to put the plastic in the first one. And that is weird. Why did that go in a weird way? Because I didn't make that straight, did I? That's odd. Why is that? Oh, because that's default. There we go. Now this should be able to go right in. Although it has to go up. Okay, so we've got rubber going in there, we've got plastic going in there, and they should both feed up into these, and then we should, if we have the train station set to load, 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 I think they're all load by default. Pity about the rum. Yes, I need to restock my rum too. And once again, thank you ever so much, Cosmic, uh, for the brake reminder. Uh, I will actually test out the train. We'll test out the brake train and see what's up here. So, just so I'm clear, what should be happening here is that um, first in priority is going to be sending into the machine. Uh, any overflow is going to get sunk. Um, if this backs up all the way to here for any reason, then it'll start to put up into here. So I may need to move where this is. Um, this is adding this may break that system, but we are no longer going to need to pop in here and look for two stacks of plastic because we're going to have a whole train of plastic that's hopefully going to be um, filling up some containers back at the base. Uh, and so this uh, will not be doing anything other than just quickly filling this up. So now what I can do is program in the root. And I'll do wheeljack, mirage. Um, I'm going to edit the timetable and make sure that wheeljack is next. And uh, I'm going to take a short break. Uh, a Train of Plastic was the name of my punk band. <laughs> nice, Loki. Uh, I think you and I are around the same age from the sounds of it. That sounds about right. Uh, I'll turn on self-driving. Hopefully this works for the brake. Uh, I'm going to take another short break, folks. You get to ride the brake train, and I'll be right back. And again, thank you so much for that incredible hype train.
So here's the problem with this back and forth train is that it's not back and forth on both ends. It's got a loop at this end and it's got another one at the, at the other end. So what's happening is that we will end up with um, plastic and rubber in the wrong containers at the other end. So you see we've got, we're going to be filling up with the wrong, the wrong containers here now. So uh, I need to add a loop on the other end. That's what we're going to do next. And that's going to be easy. It's fine. I prefer loops. The back and forth trains get really complicated really fast. You're better off to set up a network and think about like a main train line going around your world. Uh, why are those red? That's weird. They've got a bunch of these highlight bugs in the game. Did that happen before? Anyone know? Off to refill your drink. Also, happy birthday, M. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Did you do anything special for your birthday? Or Syrian, you could you could stream. I get distracted by just doing stuff. I keep on meaning to save uh, the change the settings in this game too. If I die, like I think I want my stuff back. I've played this game long enough that I'm not worried about the challenge of the environment. I'm more about the building and being creative. Uh, you ran into what a lot with wires, penguin dude. Um. The back and forth? Your family threw you a mar martini themed party. A little teeny bit older, older. That is hilarious. That gives me an idea. One t very fun, but maybe one too many martinis. Was that tonight or was that last night? Oh, that happens with wires. Yes, I know what you mean. I widely, uh, I waity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, let's. No, it's not what I want. I was in photo mode. I need to turn off self-driving. Uh, save changes. Turn off self-driving. Okay, there's nothing to unload here because we don't have unloadable stuff. But you can see, this is probably plastic and other things that's rubber and then this is gonna be rubber and this is gonna be plastic so yeah we don't want that what we want is this to be rubber and this to be plastic and this stuff to be in my inventory uh, and then we need to attach a loop here and unfortunately, it means we have to put this giant turnaround. I really wish we could turn a lot faster in this game for trains. But this will be temporary. I don't think there's a more creative way to do this, so we'll just kind of go as best we can. We could try it this way. One, two, three. Let's see if this will work. One, two, three. So that's probably the tightest you could turn out of a station, is to there. And then from here, it would be... I don't think I can get to there. I think it has to be farther. That's not quite straight. It's annoying that it gets to there. 
like it wants to take you it gets to there so like it's it's it won't go in the middle of a foundation like it's really it's a weird way that they do it so to if I count this from here, so it'll be the middle of this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right. So then one, two, three. Be there. That just seems like such a wide turn. And then we just need to take this out until it meets that. And I should be using four meters, not two. I guess we could tighten up a little bit, but let's go with it for now. And this is not quite, it's like what, maybe like a 45 degree turn? Actually, that's exactly a 45 degree turn. So we should be able to just go two back. So one, two. And from here, we should be able to go one, two. And this should connect, no problem. Too long. Really? Wow. This will just connect this way. It didn't connect to it. Nope. So then get rid of this block. We will add one here. And this all being one block should not matter because there's only gonna be one way in and out of here, which means I don't need that. And this should be fine. What we do want though, is to have at least a block on the back here where this actually enters. And for that, I'm going to need to pull the train ahead and get rid of this because we need to put proper platforms here, too. Uh, the highlighting happens with the wires. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bug. Yeah, I know what you mean now. So unfortunately, things are going to look a little bit um, sketchy until we can get... Um, the actual platforms sorted, but uh, we can delete all of these. Now, hopefully I can reconnect that. We'll see. Uh, I want a freight platform. Which way do I want this to empty? I think I want this to empty and load on the other side. So we're going to do this over here. Um... Actually, let's do it this side. That's the wrong kind of platform, though. I want 
Great. Why do they auto rotate? It's such a pain. We'll do five. I think I only did four at the other location, so I'll do an empty platform here. It'll give us a little bit of room. Now, hopefully, this still works. I'm going to want to put a block signal here. Yes. Okay. I don't know yet how we're going to support this because it's going to look really weird. So we'll do that for now. And that is also what we will do for now. Maybe I'll put like a half foundation on this just to say that we don't want to fall down. for now. Okay. That should solve the problem. So now I just need to have an unload here. At least for now for plastic and rubber. So unload. Unload. I guess really this whole thing would be unloading. Not that we have more than one. I guess we might need more than one. I don't know. And... And I sort of want to bring it in around here for computers. We need to. So it might as well go all the way down to this level. Time to go. The chainsaw. Looks like a roller coaster. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Now, somewhere there are floor holes. Uh, there they are. Fortunately, we can't blow these up, so this is only going to be a temporary solution. I know these are the wrong way, but I just need them to place the bins. Organization this. I want this going in the back. to bump that ahead. Oh, crap. I forgot that I might need two of these.
Why did that not... Huh. That's weird. There we go. Wrong way around. And they should be the fast belts. Oh, that connected? Weird. Why did that not connect? Is that not in line? In line. Hmm. I didn't realize that they could reach that far. I must have it in just the right spot. They can't be in the same spot. Yeah? Okay. Weird. Well, that's annoying. that worked the way that it did but now we have plastic and rubber uh, that will be collected here I just need to hook these up at the top again all of this is very temporary until we can figure out where we're actually going to be dumping the plastic the plastic is more than likely going to go over there by that blue tower. It's probably going to go to the Caterium, and we'll make circuit boards and stuff over there. So now I just need to make sure that this is the right... Um, we don't need to differentiate between east and west for Wheeljack. We can just do Wheeljack in general. This is just Wheeljack. Nice. And then on the train, I can get rid of you. So now we should be able to do a trial run. I will add Wheeljack and give her a test. You've restarted your save, Em. Super early game. Power is what's holding you back right now. I'm at the coal generator stage, so I'm piping water. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. There's a... I'm not sure... Where are you? Like, where where in the world are you? Did you restart? It's so nice to have, finally have a train. It's so nice to be able to go out here to the oil and the plastic and the rubber and not have to drive myself. I can just chat with you guys, let the train do its thing. It's great. You have no idea, not around water. What zone did you pick? Did you pick the, the grass fields, the dune desert, the northern forest, or the uh, rocky desert? Grass fields. Do you want any tips for where to build your coal plant? Some people don't want the spoilers. Would love tips. Okay. I'll bring up the map. I'll show you. I'm not sure where in the grass fields you might have started, but when I get back to our main wheeljack factory, I'll bring up the map and I'll show you. So what we should see here is a good load of plastic come on board. Even though we didn't unload, it should still give us stuff because the carts are not full. So it does like this whole covered thing and sort of like does like a, a refill swap. It's a cooler animation when the, the train cars are actually empty.
What I should be doing is timing this. Quickly start my stopwatch. We'll time half of it and do some rough math. Axinim, hello, how's it going? I wish I could have my graphic settings better. You can see like the, the loading in of the tracks. Not sure how much time I was off by that stopwatch, but probably a little five seconds maybe. So I'm realizing we don't have a lot of lights on the outside of our factories. Nothing is lit up from the outside. I need to find a way to design a really cool looking Cybertronian train station. Because the train stations in the game look really terrestrial. So this now should go loop around the back. Choo choo mother flipper. <laughs> well played, Cosmic. Thanks very much for the stream sticker. Did you get... How many try, times did that take to try to get right? So I'll wait until it leaves and then I'll stop the, stop the clock. I'll include the loading on this end because we did not include the loading on the other end. So this should unload the cars. Yeah, my graphics are really set low. I I really wish I had a system that I could run this at like with Lumen on it, because man, sometimes it looks really cool. All right, so I'm gonna go with um, probably we're probably good with two minutes and twenty seconds. And I think that's all we'll need. So the whole purpose behind these buffers uh, is the next time that this train comes in, uh, this stops when the train is loading. And so what's going to happen is this buffer will take over if you were feeding it into a factory. This is just storage for now. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I don't want to add this to our collection belt, I don't think, because I don't think our collection belt can really stomach it. We have a bottleneck here. It goes pretty slow. So we'd have to find another way to get this into storage or add another belt. Uh, I just wanted to have a couple of bins of plastic and rubber here for me. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I should... I guess we could leave this going. Because it's going to go back and get more. So I don't think I need to continue to go out there. I can always make myself another train. Uh, I should name this train. So we've got the Mirage Station. What do we want to name this train? Or do we want to name the train Mirage and then rename the other station? So we can always come up with a different station. Or maybe we keep them the same. I don't know. Anyway, turn on self-driving. And I'll bail. So, uh, tips for coal in the grass fields. So, if you are familiar with this area, if you started kind of in this little dip here with the three iron nodes, and there's a copper up on the hill, and there's limestone right here. So, if I jump over to dev, um, Wheeljack, if this area looks familiar, M, just northeast of the start area. So, there's a couple different places around here that you could start, but... If this is kind of where you are, there's three normal iron nodes right there. There's a limestone node right there, and there's copper. You can see it on the hill. That's the copper on the hill over there. Uh, so if you go up this hill in the back, which is right here, there's a huge lake right there. 
and then there's coal right here. So you bring your coal down to the lake. So you take the coal and you bring it down to the lake this way. And then you put your water extractors there. That's where mine is. Um, that's where my coal plant is. There is some water here, but it's not very much. It's not going to last you. Uh, and there's no coal nearby other than way the heck over there. So the easiest thing to do is to um, run uh, power poles. And so I've got power poles that run up that hill. Um, and you take all the piping up and around. No, uh, no. Hold on. Let's. I'll just go show you. Let's just grab... Do I have a truck nearby? I do. No, you don't have to pipe things very far. So you bring, what you do is you bring the power down to you. So you can see this power cable. This power cable here runs all the way up. Right. I won't go all the way down to the power plant. I'll just kind of show you from the top of the ridge here. So in this area, this is the best place to start your coal power. So you run the power, run the power down the walkway down there. You can see the power poles. There's another one down there. So the power goes all the way down to there. But then there's your water, right? You got your water extractors there, water extractors there. What color are they, chat? What color do you want me to make stuff? Hmm? Um, it's because I changed this watch. It's not on purpose. Um, so then your water is right there. You only have to pump it up to the coal extractors or the coal um, power plants. And you can see in the distance, like there's your coal miner up there, right? So you just, you bring the coal down here. It's much easier to move the coal than it is to move the water. So there's, there's a coal extractor. See the little red piece sticking up? So you just, you bring the coal down here and this way you can start off with four, then you can add four more and you can add four more. And every time you add four, you need two water extractors. So you're good for like, I mean, if you wanted to be on coal for a while, you could expand this all the way down this way and have them face the other way and you can totally work it. Yeah, I know Cosmic, it's cause I changed the swatch. They used to be blue. <laughs> they were blue for water. I mean, come on, it's me. It's just easier to show you M than it was to try to explain it. Especially where people are new. If you're not really familiar with the map, then you get turned around. And... How much power is in that line? Um, well, it's hard to tell now because um, this is... I've got fuel power out by the rubber. So I've got a capacity of 2300 right now. But it was 150 per coal miner so 150 times 12 1800 4 gives you 600 8 gives you 1200 and then 12 gives you 1800 plus i've got the summer sloop um augmenter but yeah go in chunks of four uh because four coal um four coal um Generators are go to one or two. I think one miner can handle eight. You can do the math when you find it. Oh, wow. Popped a wheelie there. Hey, we're going to find how's it going? These guys are hard to drive, man. So we definitely got some plastic that I can bring inside. I feel like I need a temporary door back here. I 
I guess I have one on the side that I could use. Ugly unfinished door. So we didn't really get to decorate anything today, which kind of sucks. Uh, how can I get down there in a good, easy way? Maybe I'll make a temporary door right there. I don't need all this steel on me either. I've lost track of days and nights, all I know is code. <laughs> Sounds like a busy week, word notify. It's only Tuesday. Oh right, these just fill up when I'm not here. Product release time, Q&I keeps you busy? Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yay for plastic and rubber constantly coming to the home base. Em, thanks very much. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we based it off of uh, Wheeljack. That was Megatron. So the colors and the shapes, it's not quite finished, but it's, it's functionally finished inside. I like to say. But it's making all of the basic parts. Uh, so all of this stuff here, with the exception of Quickwire, which is actually, we should go get that now while I think about it. The fact that I can float here is bizarre. Biofuel, liquid biofuel is so good. Yeah, so obviously the back doors are not finished. I feel like my inventory is very cluttered. This also does not have any lights whatsoever. What could we put on this? I guess we could do like an awesome sink or something? Why is it sideways? The pick block seems to rotate stuff sometimes. Don't understand. You saw me rotate it, right? You saw me rotate it.
I really don't understand. About time. Wow. What? That must be a bug on the Q&A site. Uh, let's do something monochrome here. I guess this is a good one. Yeah. Storage. And then I can start to get rid of things I don't need. Um, that. I'm actually not doing too bad. Used to having a lot more space. So this for me is just a little biofuel setup. Where I can put these things in there and get fuel out here. I did not expect to have that much. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very dark outside. We don't have any lights on the outside of this. Why are you stalling? Screws. Oh, because you're just going to storage. That's why. Um... Down to 29 computers. How are we doing for circuit boards? Nice. Good there. Gotta go walk the dog, M. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Uh, never run into the sign issue. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. It's got something to do with uh, using the middle mouse button. As far as I can tell. Alright, so at least I can attempt a little decorating. Because, like, this floating platform stuff is going to drive me crazy. So the way that we set this up in the blueprint designer ahead of time was that I wanted to have floating tracks. I wanted this all to be suspended uh, in midair. And so we can use a number of different ways, but I think the easiest is going to be to just attach a block to the side. Delete the block here, delete the block there. And then use our blueprints, the tool rail, hover pack, no support, no tracks. Just rotate it around, get it into the right spot. Have to nudge it a little bit so that it's in the middle. And then plunk it down. And that shouldn't mess with the blocks. It shouldn't mess with um, the rails and now we should be able to put here's the question even though we only have blocks every 24 foundations do we want to have hover bits every 12 i think we do oh i shouldn't have i might be able to do this again maybe i can do it from here Gonna let me. I almost had it. Oh, I'm out of quartz. Never mind. I'm out of quartz. Let's put this back here. This might be a limitation. This is one of the reasons why I didn't think I was gonna be able to get much decorating done, is because I don't have the quartz. 
I might have some. Our Syrian, you're off too. Thanks all for the good company and entertainment for this afternoon. You're very welcome. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the support. Very, very cool of you. Um, you're not the only one that has the sign problem. Oh, man. Well, I feel for you. It's very frustrating. Quartz. Uh, none of that is quartz crystal. Do I have any quartz crystal? I thought I had one point. I must have stopped it. Okay. Let's change that right now. We'll just do manual for now. Crystal. need power. Uh, let's do it from here. I can also just craft some. Get rid of my crafting bench. I think it's up there. Just use this one. Hey, there's a train. Oh, that's slow. See, I really wish the lights that we make in game had this kind of glow to them. They don't quite do that in in the basic graphics. You have to add in the, the global illumination for it to work. All right, that should be enough for now. I've got a funny feeling we're going to want to do it every 12. It's going to look so much cooler with all of this concrete here. Concrete lines can look cool, but I think I prefer this way. It's for simplicity as well. So what does one of those costs? It costs 42 crystal. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. Quartz is our next bottleneck. Painting these is a really good idea. My gosh. Blueprints. That one. What am I out of? Oh, I'm short on crystal again. You know what? I'm just going to craft it here. I got it backwards. It's 44. One thing you got to worry about the blueprints when you you make things look fancy, but then sometimes you're like, oh man, am I shooting myself in the foot? Is this going to be like super expensive to make? Right, so again, looks like it's in the middle. So I'm going to make sure that I've got another 44 of these. Mm -mm -mm. 
We get three at a time. That's not bad. I am going to have to wrap up soon. Uh, so if anybody in chat has a recommendation for another satisfactory streamer that you'd like me to send you along to, I'd be happy to take uh, referrals because it's, uh, it's nice to kind of share the love. Let's see what's going on. Right now, I've got a couple ideas, but I'm happy to hear what other people might think. I was thinking that 2-0, Cub Fan streaming. If folks are cool with that. Do we know how long Cub Fan has been streaming? Okay, that'll get us at least two more. QA is back. Thanks for the stream, Joel. Oh, you're very welcome. We're notified. Have a good one. Alright. So now, instead of doing just this one here i'm gonna go all the way to the next one um oh actually i guess yeah, that's a really long way isn't it i guess we'll just decide on what we've got so i'll start here These look really cool. Having the walls all stuck together like that was a really good idea. Don't get run over, please and thank you. And then we can delete this stuff. I don't think I'll probably leave just one straight one here. That's straight. Yeah, that's the last straight one. So we'll get rid of this. I don't have a design for a floating platform that's straight. That's the only thing we don't have. That's a that's a single. I've got the doubles, but not the singles. And I guess I can just leave these like this. Uh, that's a that's a one meter. Uh, let's go with two meter. Just temporary. Oh, I keep on forgetting about this menu thing. I think this is unpainted. Yeah, so I don't really have anything around here. This would be the support for this section, and then I guess we'd have another one kind of lined up here. Around here would make sense. Because this is also just before the bend, so we'd paint that one. So we need to come up with a single platform design for the hover pad. And then I guess maybe here it makes sense. Well, I could probably just do this. So this can be part of a structure here. Yeah. F 
for now. It will look very spacey and cool when I come up with whatever I'm going to do. Also, let's make these smaller. So, from down on the ground, if you can imagine these being sci-fi hover pads, uh, it looks like this. So, sort of looks suspended, I think. I feel like it might be better with Luminon. I feel like we've been in Sunrise or ever. Moody Bright, Bright. Go oh, Moody Bright. I don't know that it really reads as something that's hovering. I think I'm right though. I think they need to be that close together. I wouldn't want to have them any farther apart. Like so can you can imagine if if this one wasn't there and it was like this one, this long stretch of track and then that one, I feel like this is the we want them at least this close together. If not, they could be every every couple tracks. Maybe we do them in more often. But if, the fact that it fits in the screen I think looks pretty good. So, and that's the case, then we absolutely need one here. And I don't think... I guess that's right. It looks right. I don't trust it, so I'm going to go up here. The fact that I can get all the way up here on half a tank is great. Yeah, for anybody wondering how we did this, they're walls. Little one meter walls that are all side by side. It's in the VOD that I made a couple of days ago. Yeah, I feel like we can probably get away with having these more frequent on bends. So I'm going to put another one here if I can afford it. Which I can. Also, realizing that I still have Lumen on and my frame rate is crap. Sorry. So in order to put all of these in, we will definitely need to get quartz more automated. And this is what it looks like from up here. It's very simple. Um, it would have been maybe better to have something a little bit more um, looked like it gripped the track. I tried that, but I just couldn't get the right angles. There's probably some people out there that have better better um, uh, manipulation. The closest we've got is that these these little um, guys here, they sort of come up through. Uh oh They sort of come up through and attach here, but it would have been cool if there was like something that would be 
kind of like grabbing in as if like a beam or something. You know, going in like that. But flat, I didn't like the flat. I wanted it to be more of an angle. So you'd have to really start to mess around with stuff like that. Um, and then like a foundation was just too... We don't have half foundation angles. And we don't have... Um, right, like something like that would have been neat. But then you end up with this thing sticking up in the middle. Right, so you can't... You couldn't really win... It, it kind of looked like it might impede the train on this side, but then this side looked okay. And then if you did it this way, then it looks okay, but then you had this weird kind of like pointy bit that I didn't like. So we didn't really have any way to, to manipulate that, but... Here we go. Floating tracks. I think the more of them you put in a row the more it communicates what's actually happening. So in the next stream, what we'll probably do is design the single. And it'll be very much the same. I think we'll just... Um, we'll just maybe get rid of this middle part and squish everything together. That's probably what we'll end up doing. It may... Yeah, we may have to do something... I don't know if we're going to have the same angles. It may have to be like a block. We can angle the um, the jets, but then or the hover pads, and then we can um, manipulate the rest to work. But it makes for a really simple train structure, which I like. Look at all the goodies! Huzzah! All right, that is where I need to wrap things up because it has been a wonderful stream, but a long afternoon. Uh, it is, I'm hungry. Joel needs food. So uh, I am going to bid you all adieu. We're going to pass you on to CubFan135 playing Satisfactory. Uh, pretty happy that we got this set up from the path did not exist. The uh, blocks did not exist. The train route did not exist. And even though we couldn't decorate the whole thing, at least the proof of concept is up. And I quite like the fact that we've got blocks every other hover pad and then hover pads every 12 uh, foundations. So we have a pattern. Uh, we will continue that for next time. And I think I've learned a lot on how I can um, better do my hover pads in, um, in the Devastator playthrough as well. So cool. Very, very cool. Folks, thank you ever so much for the incredible hype train earlier for all of the support today. I, I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I, uh, I want to give sh uh, Sandy a shout out for the moderating. Uh, Cosmic uh, for coming in and helping moderate here a little bit at the end as well. Uh, and for everyone that used the stream stickers, the, the TTS stickers are hilarious. Uh, you, you folks never seem to disappoint uh, with the fun little quotes that you grab and, and work into the stream. And uh, I really appreciate all of the bits and the support. It's just been incredible. Uh, don't forget about Patreon. If you were watching uh, the generosity and you're just like, mm, Twitch isn't really my thing, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan is a fantastic way to support the stream. It's only uh, $2 a month. It's less than a cup of coffee. You get access to the Discord, uh, which is where anybody that received a gift sub today uh, can also go. You can have access to the Discord through your Twitch account, connect Twitch and Discord, and then look for the Joel Duggan Discord in your Discord connection options. It should be available to you now that you have a gift sub. Uh, thanks ever so much for spreading the community for those folks that were giving out gift subs. Again, I really appreciate it. Uh, there are a number of podcasts available now and coming soon. The Citadel Cafe has got a new episode coming out soon. That's going to be about Rings of Power with myself and Pixel Riffs. Uh, Pixarifs and I recorded a new episode of the Spawn Chunks yesterday. That's about Minecraft, and that is available now. You can find that at uh, thespawnchunks.com or wherever you find your podcasts. Uh, also on YouTube, uh, Citadel Cafe, same place. Just wherever you find your podcasts, you can find it. Uh, and I recorded an episode of the um, Imp and Skiz podcast. Johnny and I, Pixarifs, uh, were on the Imp and Skiz podcast uh, talking to them about podcasting, how we work uh, together, how our show is put together, all the behind the scenes stuff. So if you're curious about that, check out Imp and Skiz podcast on YouTube. There's a link in chat. Thanks to Cosmic. 
Uh, and there's also links all over my social media. It's very easy to find. Uh, there's also a link in the Discord. So uh, thanks ever so much, folks. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow. Now, here's the twist. Tomorrow is going to be a morning stream. I've got to drive my father to the airport tomorrow afternoon at around 2, 2.30. So I'm going to start my stream off in the morning around 10 a.m. Atlantic. That's uh, UTC minus four hours. So it'll be a different crowd uh, and it'll be early in the morning. Not early for me, but like earlier compared to my normal one o'clock stream time. So 10 a.m. tomorrow, just for tomorrow, uh, we'll be back uh, to regular one o'clock uh, the rest of the week. So I will see you all tomorrow. Until then, enjoy your time with Cub Fan. Uh, I will see you later. Bye for now.